y'all thank you so much for tuning in today i'm bringing you shopping with me to dollar tree again the last time that i filmed one of these videos i did have an issue at one of the dollar trees because i was not allowed to film and i ended up taking you to two different stores now i actually liked how that video turned out because i got to show you more of what dollar tree had to offer in just one video rather than taking you to the same store over and over and over again just so you could see one or two items so if you like that idea rather than a ton of small come with me to Dollar Tree videos, please give me a thumbs up and leave your feedback below. I definitely want to hear what you guys want to see. Speaking of which, I really want to put out more content more frequently, more DIYs, more hauls, more shop with me's. So please give me a thumbs up, give me video ideas. It definitely keeps us motivated to post more frequently when we know that you're enjoying what we're putting out. So let's go ahead and go shopping. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys all of the Christmas stuff and they had so many cool items. They had these little headbands which could be used for picture props for your holiday photos and they had a ton of really cool stocking stuffers. One of my absolute favorite was this little wind up train set. So if you have a mini tree this would be a great little accessory for it. They had little cookie cutters and containers if you're considering baking for the holidays as a gift. They also had a nice selection of little mugs and holiday themed cups. And this was a great stocking stuffer as well because it was little holiday mugs that already have hot cocoa mix and they had a really nice variety of those. Not all of them have hot cocoa mix, but they were so cute. For decoration, they had pre-made wreaths along with lighting and all sorts of accessories to decorate around your home or to make your own wreath. They also had little miniature trees and decorations for it, plastic ornaments, snow, and all sorts of stuff to make little snow globes and personalize your decor. The lighting was really, really cute this year. And these are my favorite ornaments that I've seen. I did head over to Walmart before this and I noticed that they have a lot of similar ornaments but Walmarts are a dollar more expensive and sometimes only bring one. So these are a really good deal and a lot of them look really really pretty and expensive. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite ornament is or what you've seen at other stores that is so much cheaper to buy at Dollar Tree. Moving on to gift wrapping, the selection at Dollar Tree is always huge. They have a variety of boxes, paper, and all sorts of bags to put your gifts in for only a dollar, which is so worth it. They had more stocking stuffers like socks, cute little lanterns to decorate your home with that are Christmas theme, and these little plushies were so cute. They're Christmas theme, and some of them were really big. Well, not too big, but big enough to use like little pillows. Of course, they had little Christmas-themed ceramics to decorate your home with. And that wraps up Christmas. Moving along to regular items, these were so awesome. They were different sized mirrors and different shapes, which is really nice to see at Dollar Tree. I fell in love with these lanterns. They're bigger than the ones that Dollar Tree usually carries and so cute. There was also a nice variety of yarn this time around, which is always great. And the wall decals had a lot more options this time around. These are some of the ones that I had never seen before, so it was really, really nice to see a new selection. New to the cosmetic section were these Kiss Gel nail polishes, along with these Impress press-on nails that were pre-glued, and these super awesome Wet n Wild mascaras with a thin wand. I was so happy to see this again at Dollar Tree, but they finally restocked on the wooden block letters, and I of course stocked up. For winter gear, they had a ton of hats, scarves, and gloves, which was really nice. And this was new, they had more Bolero products, but of course they were different theme. And they had these cool bath bombs and all sorts of goodies. The toy section had a lot more name brand stuff like this Play-Doh with the cool attachments, large sidewalk chalk. These were really cool, they reminded me of Funko Pop. I've never really heard of these toys, but they were nice and big and a great stocking stuffer. And these were awesome for kids, they were little wooden puzzles. So that's it for this week's walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know what your favorite item was. Again, thank you so much and see you next time.